you're on the Make a Side channel. This video is the checkpoint number one on the way from almost nothing to my own workshop. Now I've got a workshop or lab, only few basic instruments, so I'll tell you about them. This is the adjustable power supply to breathe the life in electronics projects or to burn them when used improperly. It can provide up to 30 volts at 5 amps with coarse and fine adjustment. LEDs show operation mode constant current or constant voltage. It is difficult to set up a small current voltage. After a couple of years, values started load. I've checked potentiometers, but they are fine. If you got any idea what to check, please let me know. And never turn on or off the power when a consumer is connected because of short voltage impulse which can destroy your circuit. Multimeter is used to measure electrical characteristics like voltage, current, resistance and others. This model has auto range selection. It works well, has additional function like hold relative measurements, duty cycle, capacitance measurements and others, but I don't use them. K-type thermocouple is very useful. Rotary tool for drilling, grinding, polishing and graving. Speed is continuously variable from 5 to 20,000 rpm. Has a high torque even at lower speeds. Maximum power consumption 100 watts. Keyless chuck with 3.2 mm or 1.8 inch capacity. I put additional hardened steel collets for precision works, tungsten carbide and HSS drill bits. Tungsten carbide drill bits are very fragile. Drill stand for vertical holes in circuit boards and other materials. Works smoothly after excessive paint was removed from the groove where the ball bearing moves. Travel is about 30 mm or inch and a quarter. Most parts are diecast aluminum and column is solid steel. The collar tilts through 90 degrees in both directions. Can be used like micro green post. Many years ago, I used simple soldering iron with no adjustment. I bought this cheap rework SMD station when I began to repair and build electronics. It's very useful for small SMD parts, ESD safe, temperature and flow are easily controlled. Quarter gun reaches power about 300 watts, the power of soldering iron is about 50 watts. Maximum temperature for both instruments is about 480 degrees Celsius or about 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Different types of nozzles and iron tips are available. Some of these type of stations have a bad surprise. They can burn at the place where you were. If you want to learn more about this, please leave a comment. And of course, a bench of hand tools and accessories like screwdrivers, blades, pliers, plugs and solder. Thanks for watching, see ya!